surprised? Surprised by the loss, I reckon. Why you have the belt? You're saying you, know, you didn't think you'd be playing that. <coughs> yeah, it's sort of, it's strange. My first pre-season I came in, and you just, it sort of feels like a training camp. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's sort of, you just want to prove yourself, really. And um, I was lucky I was pretty competitive, and that's probably where... Uh, my development's come from just being competitive. Always wanted to win and and beat people in running. And then you want to become better kick than someone, and you want to keep more. Go it's just it goes on from there. But um, I don't know. I think you if if you really want it and you you want it bad enough, I think you do everything you can to play games. And once you, I still remember one of the first things Craigie and um, Goody said to me when um, played some of my first games is you just don't don't give them a reason to, to drop you, basically. And, um, yeah, it's sort of been every game from there. You just don't want to ever give the coach a reason to put you back in the twos. And, um, yeah, that's probably how I've sort of strung them together. He's never want to disappoint the team now and, and your coach. On the frustration, mate, do you feel like you've been up and down the club and the team is better for the season? Are they in a better spot now than what they were in round one? Yeah, well, especially after round three, um, wouldn't have thought we would have been in the hunt for finals after our start. Um, but yeah, we've we've beaten some really good sides, which has been probably the ple most pleasing thing. Um, it's just those games where we're under a couple of goals, and we've been in situations um, to win those games as well, and it, we've put ourselves in position, sorry, to win those games, and that's that's the only thing. I like last year was kind of similar. Um, we lost a lot of those games. In 2012, we won the majority of them. And I mean, if we win a few more of them, um, we'd, our season looks a lot different. We're sitting pretty comfortable in the top eight. Um, but that's where we've got to get better as a, as a young group and as a footy club and as leaders as well. We've got to, we've got to make sure we're doing every, everything we can when we're in those positions just to make sure we win those tight games because that's what the good sides do. So on the leadership, have you found the captaincy this year and would you put your hand up to do it full-time next year? Um, oh, look, I found it tough, definitely, at times. Um, certainly lots of things I've learnt, um, but enjoyed it as well. A uh, bit more responsibility around the club. Um, game day, a bit more pressure to perform and, and just play your role as well as you can and just help guys out on ground, which um, I love doing anyway. Um, but, look, what the stuff VB does still inside the club is the stuff that I've been learning the most, um, trying to chew his ear off a bit about um, just just certain things that I'll need to get better at around the club as well, because um, he's a smart man and look, I, I want to help him out as much as I can for the rest of this year and, and next year um, and not sure what will happen there. VB's still our man, I'm pretty sure. Rory Lamb today. He didn't seem to do much work out there. How's he tracking? Yeah, not too bad. He's um, he's got a pretty fat nose. He um, his little days the last couple. I think he might have been a bit sore early on, but um, I reckon he'll train Friday and he he should be right as long as he passes all the concussion tests. McKay and um, Sam Shaw seem to be moving pretty well. Yeah, both move fine out there. Um, Dave, I think Dave will want to play this week. Um, it's not often he misses too many in a row. And Sam as well. Sam was moving real well. Um, yeah, they both look fine. They'll train Friday and I reckon um, they'll be up for selection. How have you spent this weekend <coughs> alone? Would there be a bit of uh, you and a few of the lads will be in front of the telly, sort of, you know, cheering on the Hawks and the Swannies? Is it especially <coughs> to uh, you know, make sure that your season is still alive come Sunday? Yeah, as, a, as I said earlier, um, guys will watch it and like, we'll all hope that um, we can still get given that chance to make finals, but um, we put ourselves in this position, and we've done we've done it to ourselves. So we can't be angry up or upset if um, if one of those teams get up and and win because um, yeah we put ourselves in this position. But goals will be watching on and um, and yeah and hoping and and wishing um, we probably had made it easy for ourselves and didn't have to worry about all this. But that's the way it is, and. Um, we can just come out against St Kilda and we've got to make sure we start well this week. What's been the highlight, Rory, so far? 99 games, we're both suffering, you've got the smell of freshly cut grass and it's not because we're in, but... Yeah, you know, that's probably why my voice feels yeah, weird. Up to 
I imagine, you know, we're on the doorstep of finals again, it's all already for this stage, but what have been the highlights for you so far? Um, well, definitely the finals campaign, first finals campaign. Um, played three finals. That prelim against Hawthorne was um, out of control. Never played in front of such a big crowd. And um, I know that whole moment was being so close to a grand final was um, insane. Definitely, yeah, it was a bit surreal as well. Um, first game was was always going to be special. I, I'll remember that one forever. Um, there's been some, I don't know, just some fun games being involved in some night, that night game out here when Tex returned and um, against Collingwood, I think it was. That was um, a Thursday night game out here was unbelievable. The whole whole crowd out of, out of the Adelaide Oval has been amazing. I mean, um, it's definitely a lot louder than games we had out here. You spoke about Rathbun all this week. It must be a strange feeling for him, sort of, you know, not knowing whether this is going to be it or not. Yeah, well... I had a little, a couple of little chats with him, but yeah, it is. It would be strange, you know, and this is your, what could be your last, um, your last week. Um, it'd be really strange. I know he's just, he didn't know how to take it. Really, he's just doing everything. It's what everyone does. Just it's the same week as what we did last week. Just doing everything you do to build up into a game. So, um, it's another one of your mates, someone. Um, so nothing sort of changed for him this week. I, I suppose for him, he's just trying to take it all in and. Um, just savour his last moments. Well, surely that's got to be sentimental perfect.